All right, so um, you know the flexibility of flex fuse items is is key, and it's a it's a nice thing. It goes hand in hand with mesh fusion, which can accommodate any changes that you make to the form of the uh, flex fuse items. But uh, sometimes when you're building up, especially when you're building up complexity on a fusion model um, with a lot of simple, relatively simple forms, you don't necessarily need or want to maintain that uh, editability, that flexibility of the flex fuse items. Um, you want to just convert them to simple meshes that keeps things simpler in your item list here and just easier to deal with on a, on a couple of levels. So, for example, and this is a place where another one of our duplicate and freeze options comes into play, um, I can take this chamfered box here and use the fuse frozen duplicate uh, option. And what that does is uh, makes a copy, a frozen copy of our uh, flex fuse item and replaces the current fusion source mesh, which is a true flex fuse item, with that frozen copy. So let's just do that. So you can see our fusion item really hasn't changed. Um, it's just that the uh, source mesh there is now a frozen duplicate and the uh, original flex fuse item is uh, available for uh, further use. For example, just move it down here and uh, let's say shorten its length a bit and uh, go to vertex mode on its frame and uh, do a little scaling. And then I could, for example, um, take that item and do a little shift click to select another fusion source mesh and apply primary. So now we've got another copy and then I could you know, repeat the process. I could say Fuse Frozen Duplicate, um, go to the Move tool, move away our now freed up, so to speak, um, Flex Fuse item, uh, do the same thing in uh, Vertex mode on its frame, expand that outward like that, um, and add that to the Fusion item. So you see, you can start to just sort of iterate a form, make slight variations on it if you like, and uh, drop those into your fusion item. Now these two are just simple meshes now. They're not flex fuse items, so of course you're, you're limited. You can't edit them with all the freedom that you have and flexibility that you have with a flex fuse item. But like I say, in many cases, that's just what you want. Sort of keep things simple as you move along and add complexity to your fusion model. And there's another option that kind of allows us to uh, flip that procedure around, if you will. So let's say uh, we wanted to keep this as a uh, flex fuse item so that we can continue to uh, tweak its form, but we had need for another uh, non-fusion duplicate of it that we wanted to use somewhere in the fusion model or maybe even in a different fusion model. So in that case, we select our flex fuse item, and this time we're going to use non-fusion frozen dupe. And what that does is create just a simple, again, non-procedural non copy of our Flex Fusion item, and you're free to do with that whatever you would like. Again, keeping in mind that it is not a Flex Fuse item anymore, it's just a simple mesh, but you know, again, perhaps that's, what, that's exactly what you want in some situations.